Craig Murray back to his nemesis. He went down hard, ended his season on this face with a move that, had it worked, might have been the coolest thing I have ever seen. Unfortunately, it didn't for him, but he's back. He's fully, fully recovered. He's skiing at a top level. Love, love, love his interpretation of the mountains. Every time he drops in, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to see what Craig's got here for us. Just let me right now, buddy. Is he going to spin a floaty three into the exposure above the Hoysel Cliff and then pin it to a different landing? Yes, he is. New Zealand just crushing it so far today. And Craig Murray, mentally strong, needs a result today to make Verbier and got injured here last year. And then flat three into the section. Oh, Craig Murray with two massive, massive tricks on the on the upper section of his run. The flat spinning above the exposure, still absolutely pinned, not taking his foot off the gas at all. So, so fast, even with the tricks. Craig Murray definitely making a case here for the top spot on the podium as his run is hot right now. Just floating off that one and sending this one to with style. Just stay on your feet, buddy. Get through that heavy debris. Get to the finish line and we will have three Kiwis going to Verbier for the first time in the history of the Freeride World Tour. Pumping his chest, yelling out. He is pumped. He is psyched. He is stoked. And I am for him. That was a magic run and wow. Similar style to Isaac but completely different execution. Well, Craig Murray has had his redemption on the Vilce Loader. He last year, we, it took him out. This year, he took it to that upper 360 was insane. I think he probably had a bit of nerves going into that because he knew how it went for him last year. So he picked something that the risk factor of landing on rock was a little bit less. It was more cross hill, but the risk factor of getting that right because it was right above the next cliff. Look how quickly he's into the hoistle. One little redirect and then pinned off the nose. Hands, hands to his face a lot. I wonder if he need himself in the face of one of those landings, maybe even that one. But the fact that he had to stomp that flat three to another ear straight away is just blowing my mind. Yeah, so judging criteria just lit right up there. He's pumped. Looking, yeah, looking like he's maybe got a, a bit something going on on his face there. But the smile is bright for Craig Murray. The judging criteria, he ticked all those boxes and ticked them hard. So all the way across the board, he hit those categories, and the judges now have their work cut out for them as we already have two runs with Hank and Isaac in the 90s. Whew, that was a hot one. Yeah, that is amazing. We have two Kiwis in the top three at the moment, just behind an American. So how is it going to look after the score comes in? Just let you know that... <gasps> 96, 6, 7. Craig Murray takes over the top spot from Isaac Freeland.